Oh, hey, Nikki. Hey. Um, so, Valentine's Day was coming up, and I thought maybe we could, you know, go on a Valentine's Day dance or something. Really? Yeah, I think that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, no. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All right. <laughs> Good morning, Mark Isfeld, and welcome to another episode of MITV. I'm today's anchor. That's the bad news. The good news? Nikki's not here. First up, we have Brian with a segment on pickup lines. It's a great way to break the ace on this episode. Hey, oh! Oh! Comes a time every year, Feb the 14th. Here we have it. There was a time when there was a man or a woman named Valentine, and their legacy of love lives on with us today. We're here with the boy, Ben. We're sitting here. I know he's getting ready for V-Day. It's coming up. Hey, got any girls in the mind? What do you What do you say to them when you're asking them if they'd like to be yours? Um, well, Brian, I was wondering if you would be mine. I'm taken. Wondering, in your days, how did a boy go about asking a girl out for Valentine's Day? Straight to the point. You want to go out? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> what about the guys that beat around the bush? They're losers. They, <laughs> they lose. I get the girl. So we're here with the boy Ryan, and we're wondering, Ryan, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Well, I was going to get a rose. I was going to head up to Pigeon Lake Dump. There's a really nice old Chevy that's up there. It's been uh, beaten. I got a table set up. We're going to have a nice dinner. Seagull. Uh, we're going to have Seagull. And, uh, you win the truck. And, and her. So oh, we're going to sit in the back and eat our seagull, and it's, uh, hopefully the dump bugs will keep us away, and it's going to be beautiful. Why did she just walk away from you? She doesn't like that idea? No, I ruined the surprise. Oh, I did. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, I'm having trouble. Uh, I need, really need to ask this girl out uh, before Valentine's Day, and I just don't know what to say to her. What would you say in my shoes? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you're gonna have to figure that one out yourself, buddy. What do you say to a girl when you're asking her on Valentine's Day? Do you have my library card? Because I'm checking you out. <laughs> oh. Heaven must be missing an angel. When you wake up in the morning, are you scared? Because I know girls who kill for looks like yours. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey, Cookie, what do you say to a girl on Valentine's Day? How are you getting to know her? What's up? Does this smell like chloroform? You know, need not be bashful, shy, nor nervous when you come up and say, hmm, I like you a lot, but I really don't know how to ask. You got all the potential. You got everything you need, all the tools you need. You need to ask someone on a date. Go for it. Channel 2 News. Here we go. Thanks, Brian. And if you see Eli in the hallways this week, don't smell the rag. Speaking of Eli, here he is with a rant on young love. Young love. A subject not many have touched on, but one that I'm about to. You meet her eyes, she meets yours. You're lost, as if a young boy wandering a forest, and it's a very beautiful forest. It's young love. Puppy love, you may even call it. What is the definition of love? My take on it is to care for somebody as much as you care for yourself. That whole taking a bullet for your significant other really plays the part here. How do you know if you're in love? Do you get butterflies? When you touch, are there sparks? I'm not sure. I've never seen two old people who've been married for 40 years hug and just explode into flame. Let's get back to the subject at hand. Young love. You're sitting there and you're thinking about the girl. You're thinking about the guy. Oh, I'm so in love with him. Oh, I'm so in love with her. But how do you know? What many people call the love that we feel as youth, puppy love. You know why? It's the exact same thing when you get that cute puppy and you're like, oh, I'm gonna love it forever. And then it gets to be an old dog pooping on the carpet and you're like, Ch -ch -ch, you're going down, lassie. Ch -ch. With Valentine's Day close at hand, I'm forced to ask myself, when do we get to the moment where puppy love becomes love and love becomes true love and true love becomes you can't leave that person alone because she or he completes every part of you? I guess what I'm trying to get at here is no one can tell you that you're in love. It's something you have to figure out for yourself. And upon looking deep inside your soul at if this is true or not, 
I highly recommend after marrying her or him, you sign a prenup just in case that ain't true. Back to you, Nikki. Thanks, Eli. Bye.